Consortium. And with me is uh, Jay Jimyun, who is with the Korean Resource Center. And we're two of the organizations that were part of this campaign. Just want to make sure that all the members of the media get a copy of this press packet. And there's a lot of good information here, not just in terms of the ad campaign, but we have additional quotes from other organizations that were initiating the campaign that are included in this ad, uh, in this press packet, along with translations of the ad in Korean and a list of all the organizations that have endorsed the campaign. And also, we have also issued statements uh, related to, as you know, yesterday, the Senate Judiciary Committee uh, had a hearing on comprehensive immigration reform. And through Secretary Chertoff and Secretary Chow, they uh, articulated a little bit about how they see immigration reform looking. And it's certainly not something that we support. We're very disappointed about it. And there is a statement regarding that as well. So we're going to start with the press conference now. And first, let's just say that we're here gathered today to unveil an ad calling to the President Bush and Congress to enact new legislation for comprehensive immigration reform. Right in front of us here is the actual copy of the ad, and we have raised enough funds to place two quarter-page advertisements in the Washington Post. The first one came out today. We also have enough funds to place a full-page ad in the New York Times with the same message about how immigration reform is good for our nation and our families. The placement of these ads are basically a combination of two months of mobilization. We have many immigrants who have come here for a few years. We want to know how to become immigrants. We can't sit here alone. We want to know the principles of the immigrants and the political parties. So we want to know how to do that. We want to know how to do that. 하는 그런 고민들을 하다가 우리가 좀 커뮤니티가 일반 그 우리 회원분들이 일반 주민들이 일반 이민자들이 각각 1불씩 또는 1불 이상의 모금을 내서 그걸 미국 신문에다가 한번 광고를 내서 우리가 원하는 이민 개혁에 대해서 어 한번 알려보자 또 그런 그 취지와 희망과 꿈으로 이제 시작을 해가지고 저희가 두달 반, 거의 두달 동안 그 많은 분들의 참여와 많은 분들의 그 수고로 저희가 7만 3천여 불을 모았습니다. 그래가지고 제가 그 뉴욕 타임즈의 전면으로 한번 광고가 나가고요. 그리고 of the tens of thousands around us throughout the nation that we too could have our voices heard loudly by this president as well as the United States Congress and the American public. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. 한 사람이 1불씩이라도 모금 운동을 시작하여 그 1불이 보살것 없는 돈이지만 그 안에는 모든 그 모든 사람의 그 씨앗이 되어 큰 보복이 될 것입니다. 그 결과로 오늘날 이렇게 어, 워싱턴 포스트 이렇게 신문에 오늘 발표됐어요. 저도 몰랐어요. 오늘 아침에 와서 알았습니다. 얼마나 기쁜인지 몰라요. <웃음> all throughout the 88 cities of Southern California, if not the entire United States. We are a pace-setting city. We are a city built by immigrants. If you mention the word Monterey Park, people will say, wonderful, fine dining. Let me tell you, it, it's the immigrants that bring their cuisine to America and are able to market, to make it what we really are, which is a high-demand restaurant city. <clears throat> We're not just the chefs. Immigrants make up the, uh, the servers, the dishwashers. I happen to have been a busboy, and I can tell you, those are jobs that drive the community, and they're just as important as the chef jobs. Immigrants also comprise, when we get sick, we go to the registered nurses. If you look at the hospitals, you will find out that 80 to 90 percent of our registered nurses come from abroad. They are immigrants because we are not producing them fast enough. I wish we could, but we are not. And other health care workers, licensed vocational nurses, and on down the line. I ran the emergency room. I know how hard it is. I know how hard these immigrants work. 
Immigrants save lives. They are home care workers. Monterey Park, 40% of our population is 45 years or older. Welcome to America. More and more people are going to look like me, old people. And old people need home care workers. We have a thousand of them that live in our city that take care of us when we get sick or disabled or older. Immigrants are entrepreneurs. They bring billions of dollars with a B to America to drive the new economy. Finally, they, are, they staff many of our positions in government because we aggressively pursue bilingual personnel. Immigrants drive the community. They need to have a share at the table when we have immigrants. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, as, the, as the principal of preschool, she sees children from the age of preschool age to when they go to high school. And often the first time they face barriers is when they're in grade 11 and have to apply for different things and they realize they don't have a social security number. And they realize for the first time from their parents that they don't have status. And um, that is very what okay, she said, what can we do? Is there something we can do? And she heard about the dollar person campaign and thought if this would help us gather a little bit of strength towards um, <coughs> some real change that I want to be part of it, which is why she uh, encouraged um, the parents of us um, preschool to participate. Thank you very much again for your participation. Uh, NELA is an initiating organization, and she will talk specifically about why immigration reform is important to all communities, including the Latin American community. now reflect the values and traditions of this nation. The present immigration system divides our families and criminalizes hard-working immigrants. That is why it's not surprising that a recent study done by El Campo Pagado que se está presentando aquí um, el día de hoy y que se publicó en el periódico del Washington Post representa un apoyo fuerte de esta nación. El, el sistema de, migra de migración divide a nuestras familias y criminaliza a los trabajadores y inmigrantes que trabajan muy duro para construir esta nación. Kim Yibo, un momento, Kim Yibo, y Jin Kyung, un chan, y me tomé eso, uri, salvi, y saxen, que dije, andro, que un chico, y optan, y uri, y en eso, sanaga, y andro, que muri, y andro, y andro, y andro, 어떤 도움을 주는 그런 일들을 이렇게 어, 어려운 일들을 이렇게 하시는 그런 신부님이십니다. Our next speaker will be Father Richard Estrada, a immigrant to take in order to reunite with family members or to make a living wage to feed their family. Father Estrada, thank you for joining us. Let me begin by uh, asking this uh, question. Uh, where is our humanity as a country, as a, as a world? Where is our humanity and where is our heart? I'd like to speak to the fact that there are 400 bodies that were found in the Arizona desert this summer, and a little over 400 in five years throughout California. Human in California, uh, we go near the El Centro Desert. There's a vast area. There's the mountains of, of uh, northern Mexico. And there are treacherous mountains. And then there's this vast uh, no man's land. Uh, it's desert, 115 degrees or more in the summer. 400 human beings died alone in the desert where it's hot and lonely. Uh, the immigration law in this country and do it right. So God bless you and let's do what is right. Um,
economy and our business people. And so it's time that we as a nation extend our principles of fairness and equality to protect these people so that they are not exploited and do not have to live in fear. These folks are not terrible. Good afternoon, everybody. Buenas tardes. Um, I want to begin by saying that we're very proud to be an initiating organization of this act. Um, it's crucial that our uh, communities voice their opinion about immigration reform. Each one of the people that you see in this ad not only told their story to, um, but told their story to community-based organizations, each one of these individuals has knocked at the doors of congressmen, of senators. They have talked to their local officials and said that immigration reform ha has to happen. Where we could be reunited as, as families and we don't have children on one side of the border and the parents on the other side. It's also a vision that says that we can no longer have individuals dying at the desert. That we cannot have an, a policy that actually foments death. And not just in the desert of Arizona, but as people die coming from Asia, they come, they die coming. Ultimately, unworkable immigration proposal outlined by DHS Secretary Michael Chertoff and Labor Secretary in, uh, Elaine Chow on behalf of the Bush administration before yesterday's um, Senate Judiciary Committee on Comprehensive Immigration Reform. <coughs> His proposal basically states that individuals will suffer the wrath of enforcement policy. They will get, become guest workers.